Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Clam, and today we're going to be doing a seven segment monochromatic value scale together. You're going to need a piece of paper. I'm using a piece of colored paper just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. This is construction paper. Um, you're going to need a paintbrush. I'm using a flat brush, a ruler, some paint. You're going to need a color, white and black. I'm using acrylics today, but you could use temperas, um, watercolors, that will be a different video. And then I've got a water dish and a paper towel. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, we're going to make our value scale, uh, and I'm going to draw it using my ruler. I'm going to make a seven segment value scale, and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take and trace my ruler, starting from my seven inches here to zero inches, and I'm going to trace it in a black permanent sharpie just so you can see what I'm doing. You could totally do this in a pencil. Okay, trace all the way around back to the seven. Now remember on rulers the zero is not actually on the edge of the ruler, it's in a little bit. I'm going to take and put the zero right on the edge there, and then I'm going to make a little mark at each of the inches, each of the inch marks. I'll do the same thing, move it down here, and make a mark at each of the inch marks. Make a little tally. All right, then I'm gonna take and connect those lines, giving me a seven segment value scale. shake my paint really well and then give myself just a little dollop. I don't need very much at all. Okay, also give myself a little dollop of the white and of black. Okay, just a tiny bit of black. I don't need very much at all. All right, now that I have all three colors, I have my white, my black, and my blue. I'm actually going to start with white first, okay? And I'm going to start with the white because um, I want that nice and pure. I don't want anything getting into it. I'm going to start on the left-hand side because I am right-handed and I don't want to get um, my hand, my arm, to get drugged through my paint. Okay, focus on your craftsmanship. Um, try to make sure you stay inside your lines, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. This is just a practice, okay? But do your best. Okay, so I have a nice pure white here, and I want to add blue into it until I get to a solid blue right here, okay? That'll be my solid color right there. And uh, I'm gonna make, give myself a little puddle. So I'm gonna take my brush, kind of scoop here, give myself a little puddle, and then just take a little touch of blue, okay? Just a little tiny bit on your brush there. And I'm gonna blend that in, so it's just a little bit of blue. And that will be my next segment. Okay, you want it nice and solid, nice even value. Okay, now I'll add a little more blue into that same puddle. And I have my white sitting over there, so if I get a little carried away with my blue and I get too much of it, I can always add a little more white back into it. I want to keep an eye on this. That is my solid blue. Now to get to my solid blue, I'm going to have to rinse out my brush. So I take my water dish here. And I'm going to gently brush that out. Okay, I'm kind of dabbing my brush on the bottom of my water dish. And scrape off that excess water. I'm going to take my paper towel, and I'm not going to pull on the bristles, but I'm going to kind of squeeze so it squeezes the water out. This is really flimsy construction paper, so I definitely don't want to have a lot of water on that. 
Okay, now just how I did before, where I took the white and I started with it, and then I added a little bit of blue each time. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm gonna start with blue and add a little bit of black each time. So I'm gonna take my, bl uh, my blue here, my solid blue. I'm gonna paint that in. Okay, now same thing as I did just last time. I'm gonna take my blue, give myself a little puddle, and then I'm going to add just a tiny bit of black. Now remember, black is very strong. It is very potent, um, and it will change the value very quickly. So be careful to just use a little tiny bit of it. Okay, then add a little more black. And it almost looks pure black on this one, and it's really close to it. Okay, now I could take and rinse out my brush again, um, but I, uh, I know that this is almost pure black anyway, so I'm just gonna take some of that wet spot from my paper towel there, and I'm just gonna kind of brush that off. It doesn't have to be super clean, but just brush that off. And then I'll grab pure black, and that will be my very last segment on the value scale. Okay, and there you go. That is how to do a seven segment value scale using only one color plus black and white.